Well, happening now, the markets are taking a bit of a hit this morning after a new jobs report showing claims for unemployment benefits rose unexpectedly for really the first time in about three weeks. Now, both Republicans and Democrats called job growth a top priority. So we really want to focus that uh, on that with our next guest. He's Congressman Eric Cantor of Virginia. He's also the House Majority Leader. So it's great to have you on set with us, Leader it's, Cantor. Jen, it's great to be with you. What is the Republicans' number one plan for job growth? Well, number one plan is really two parts to it. It's cut and it's grow. It's, it's get the fiscal house in order, do the responsible thing to resolve the outstanding debt problem, but then focus on growth. And that means we've got to bring about confidence again on the part of the people of this country so that our entrepreneurs and small businesses uh, can begin to put their money to work and create jobs. We know we've got a very disadvantaged tax code uh, and we're working very hard in trying to reform the tax code to bring rates down so that we have a better environment for people to put their money to work and grow. Now some have suggested that the only plans that the Republicans have is to lower taxes and the thought is lower taxes for these companies so that they have a little bit more cash and can hire people. That's one side of it. Uh, is that true? Is that really the only plan? No, we, we've got uh, sort of a, a, a multi-tiered piece of the growth agenda. Uh, taxes is certainly central to it, but we also have um, a regulatory relief program. I mean, we have uh, 86 new regulations that are coming out this year that uh, the estimates are they'll cost at least $100 million a piece of the economy. We're making it so difficult for small business people to grow and to invest money. And it's hard enough already in these tough economic times. We're trying to get Washington to be uh, a partner, not to be an enemy in terms of job growth. Now, you're known as a young gun, right? A fresh voice for the Republican Party, for the conservative movement. And, and tax cuts as well as deregulation have been common themes among past Republican administrations. So what's new? What is, what is the new part of the, what you're the, introducing? The new piece of our agenda is innovation. Uh, that's truly how America has led. You know, we innovate better than any, anyone else in the world. We truly invent things that change the world. Uh, you got to ask yourself, why Google, Apple, Amgen, Facebook, Genentech, why are they all here, born out of the backyards, garages, uh, and basements of America? It's because we believe in, in opportunity for everybody. Uh, and our growth agenda is focused on trying to reinstill the sense of entrepreneurial spirit uh, that has Through made America. Through freeing up cash? Is that, is that it, primary? It, is. it has to do with freeing up access to capital, uh, making it easier for small business uh, to, to get access to loans. It has to do with creating a better regulatory environment, a better tax environment, uh, and frankly, just an optimism that the government's going to get out of the way and solve its problems and leave the private sector the ability to grow. So let me ask you, you've been very strong about taxes and not seeing tax rates going up. I only have about 30 seconds here. But are, are you having a read my lips, no new taxes moment? I mean, is that what you're really saying? You're not going to budge on this at all? We, we don't believe that you ought to raise taxes, especially in times of high unemployment. Uh, and the fact where I think most Americans get, Washington does not have a revenue problem. It's got a spending problem. we got to get our fiscal house in order and manage the debt down. You can't go and start raising taxes just as the president had advocated yesterday and, and not change the habit of spending in this town. Do you pay your taxes yet? You know it's Monday, right? Uh, we are. Uh, my wife, who's a CPA, <laughs> is very hard at work trying to get that, that done. Was a, that so. was a good strategic marriage, right? <laughs> it's nice to have a CPA in, in the household. Uh, Leader Kansas, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks, John. And we'll be right back with more happening now.